Hello, my name is Beata. In this episode, we will have another look at how to read cards together in a spread. And I will use a simple four-card spread again today. I read the answer from all of the cards together, and I explained a bit more about this spread in the previous video, so you can have a look at that as well. And this is a real question and a real reading, and it was done publicly, so I can share it with you without disclosing any personal information. Okay, let's have a look at the cards. The question is, what are this person's intentions towards me? So this is a love reading, and this is a very useful question to ask if you are in the beginning of a relationship. And I always like to start by searching for the cards that we would expect to see here if the answer was positive. So in this case, an ideal card would be the Two of Cups. And overall, the suit of cups should make an appearance if this man has any feelings for the woman asking the question. And it will be easier to talk about them both if we give them some names. So let's say that they are Adam and Eve. And we had a look at what is missing, and this tells us that the answer might not be positive. But we still need to read what exactly his intentions are, even if we already know it's not just love and devotion. Adam doesn't appear in this reading personally. There is no court card describing him. And this usually tells me that his will is not engaged in this matter. He is not fully decided to pursue this relationship. It's more like he is trying to casually see where things go. And this is confirmed by strong presence from Major Arcana. Two out of four cards is quite a lot if we consider that we have less than half as many majors as minors in the deck. And if we get a lot of majors in the reading, we can see that forces outside of our own control are at play, or that we don't want to engage in a given matter and we leave things up to chance. So we are hoping that something will happen but we can't really be bothered to actually take some action. And since we are talking about Major Arcana, I have a very exciting announcement to make before we proceed to decipher this reading. The first episode of the Major Arcana series is now available on my Patreon. The full episode had to be divided into two parts, because there is just so much to talk about. And the first part, 35 minutes long, is out now. The second part will be available in a week, and we will be going through the path of Major Arcana at a pace of two cards per month. And I really hope that you will join me on this new journey. The link is in the description below the video. Thank you all for considering this option. Your support allows me to continue making these videos for you. Okay, let's get back to the reading now. So in this case, we can see that Adam is trying to find some middle ground. He's just trying to find a way to balance some opposing ideas. And we see it in the art card. And Lust is showing us that he desires Eve and that he is willing to follow this impulse. So this card in a different setting would be a good sign in a love reading. But because of the two remaining cards, we can see some trouble here. Five of Swords will be showing us that he is going to hurt Eve emotionally, whether he realizes it or not. And this card shows us Adam's fear, and this fear will lead him to behave in a way that will unfortunately be destructive for the relationship. And it is possible that he has some bad experiences from previous relationships, and he is afraid that this will happen again. So sometimes people develop different unhealthy coping mechanisms just out of fear of being hurt again. And because we have no cards from the suit of cups, I would say that in this case he doesn't want to open up emotionally, he doesn't want to engage in the relationship fully. And finally, we have two of wands here, which in this case will show Adam's need for independence. And this links back to art and lust, because we know that he wants to be with Eve, we can see it in the lust card, 
but art shows us that he wants to find middle ground between this desire and his own freedom. So he will not be willing to invest himself emotionally in this relationship. It's more casual for him. And if we have a look at the tree of life, we will see that we have quite a balanced outcome here. We have one card each from both side pillars, and the path of art is in the middle pillar, balancing them both. And the path of lust leads between Gevura and Hesed, so we can say there is a balance there as well. But we have a presence of Gevura in the spread, the Five of Swords, but there is no Hesed. And this shows us that lust will lead to destruction. So Adam's desire for Eve leads to Five of Swords. And even though we could possibly have a beginning or some plans forming in the Two of Wands, ultimately it's more the destructive side of this card that is emphasized here rather than the creative side. We have quite a lot of element of fire in this reading. All three fire signs are present. Sagittarius in the Art, Leo in Lust, and Aries in Two of Wands which also gives us the presence of Mars. Five of Swords gives us some influence from Venus, but she is in the sign of Aquarius, ruled by Saturn, which heavily limits any power that she could have here. And this overpowering presence of fire means that Adam's involvement in this relationship will be short-lived. Fire burns out quickly, and the only other element here is air, which doesn't offer any help. So unfortunately, we don't have good news for Eve. Adam's intentions towards her are quite frivolous. He is physically attracted to her, but he is not ready for a relationship at the moment, and he will want to hold on to his freedom. And we always have to remember that the answer in the cards shows us the situation as it is now. So the future ultimately depends on the choices that we make. Our free will is most important here. The cards are only giving us additional insight into the situation. And this insight is there to help us make our own decision. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And please remember to like the video, leave a comment and of course subscribe to my channel. I would like to thank everyone who is already supporting the channel, I appreciate your help very much. And as always, if you find my videos valuable, you can show your support by becoming a patron or with a one-time donation through PayPal. All links are in the video description below. Thank you very much for considering this, your support allows me to continue making these videos for you. Once again, thank you all for today, And I will see you in the next video very soon. Thank you. Bye.